<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. This is literally what we look for. You know, I've dreamed about today many, many times throughout growing up, and then in meeting you, and hearing you confess you liked me in Bali, and hours of FaceTimes and long drives waiting to be reunited with you just for a weekend. And here it is, the most magical, beautiful day. I'm just gonna cry through this whole thing. Forged through many hardships and griefs of what could have or should have been today, refined through adjusting together, praying together, believing and hoping together, being fanned on by our families and friends. And what a more intimate, wonderful, whimsical, and sweet gift today is, better than I could have ever imagined. I'm wrecked thinking, thinking about the absolute gift you are to me. I could see the tenderness of Christ in your eyes as you interacted with people. I could see the patience and willingness to slow down and listen that Jesus displays so often. And I saw someone who desired to live life for something bigger than just themselves. In you, I have experienced so much grace, patience, kindness, truthfulness, and safety, born out of God's Spirit within you. I thank God for you that in His kindness He saw fit to bring us together. Who knew that one trip to Indonesia would change our lives forever? From staying up late, waiting on you to get home so we could catch up on the day and brush our teeth together in the kitchen sink, to over-enthusiastically volunteering to walk to the corner store and hoping you would join, which you did. Just as I got butterflies, as I told you in Bali that I wanted to be with you, so I get butterflies when I think of growing old with you. You are the man of my heart, the one God has so kindly given to me, and the one I will stand beside throughout the rest of our journeys here on earth, until we stand before the Lord in complete fullness and amazement. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. It is my deepest honor to live that out and experience life with you. Happy wedding day, my sweet. I cannot wait to see you. Love, Riss. I'm so glad God gave me you and that you'll be the one by my side as we share this adventure of a life making much of Jesus. I love you. Chain. God, I just pray uh, that you would bless these two to testify to the goodness of Jesus in their lives through the commitment they just made today. I pray that you would empower them through your Holy Spirit, whether that's new gifts or abilities or opportunities through this marriage to testify to your goodness and that many people would come to know how deeply Jesus has loved them and loved others. Uh, and so we pray today that you would send them off with great celebration. And so we pray this in Jesus' name, amen. And with that reminder, Chandler, you get to kiss your bride. Woo! Woo! I promise to never stop pursuing Christ so that we make much of Him. I promise to speak the truth in love and practice communicating in all seasons of life. I promise to love your family as my own. I promise to put your needs before my own in humility, living as teammates in our marriage. I promise to be your friend forever and remind you to take joy in sunsets and the spontaneous moments. I promise to champion your God-given talents and creativity. I promise to love you as Christ loves the church and to give myself for you. at the watch party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Judah. Hey, show, show, show them the ring. Come on.
Oh. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We love y'all.